for the gamers. As Fortnite Season 7 is coming to a close, let's go back to Season 6. A season of dinosaurs, Minecraft, and a gorilla. I was inspired by Luke the Notable to drop a location 100 times to get better, so I decided, just why not Weaving Woods? You guys know the drill, like, subscribe, yada yada yada, just get into it. Alright, game one. It's by no means my first drop into Weaving Woods. I found it on my first match in Chapter 2, so just about two years ago? Jeez. Well, the center of the map has continued to change. Wailing Woods is just far enough away that hasn't been heavily affected by the changing tides. However, this was one of my first drops in the Season 6, so I was still new to the crafting. I didn't have to fight anyone until I made it down to the island near Misty Meadows, where I mopped up two kills. Keeping my distance and using the flaming bow, I fought my way down to a 1v1 with only two kills on the board. Still being relatively new to this season, I was not confident with my loot. The other player pushed me, and I knew I only had one shot. So I hit it. I won the match and unlocked the foundational umbrella. Game 2 didn't go as well though. I fought my way to 3 kills before being put into 15th place. Game 3 I got a few early kills, fumbled with my weapons, and ended up eating right in front of the other guy. Game 4, I got beat to death by this disgusting Midas user. Game 5 was my first time using the primal shock of dying instantly. I don't even have anything funny for Game 6. They were just better than me. Game number 7, this Agent Jones thought he could surprise me, but I was too smart for him. Unfortunately, not even superheroes can stand up to the almighty pre-nerfed legendary primal shotgun. Game 8 was actually a weird one. It says there's 67 people left, but then when I die, it says I'm in 38th place. I don't know what happened, but we take those. Game 9, I was bested by a fish for 30th place. I don't need to say much. Game number 10, I played with one of my friends. He carried us to 4 kills, but I was sadly unable to avenge his soul. Game 11, I surprised our enemy, killing one before going down myself. But another duo jumped into the fight, and Doki just couldn't handle it. Game 12, nothing interesting happened until I hit the wrong key and died, and then while trying to rescue me, Doki was shot in the back. In game 13, our combined might got us into the final zone, but I was down and killed by someone we met in the pre-game lobby, and Doki eventually fell as well. Game 15, I read a book and powered up. It uh, didn't help me from getting shot on the feet though, and uh, I also forgot to reload my guns. That could have gone better. Game 16 is another one where I don't see anyone for a while, and then I died to the first person I fought. This is a running trend. Game 17, I killed someone using the same skin as me. The uh, gamer girl got me though, and I was killed while trying to get the spray kill. Game 18, I forgot to record, so instead I'll use this to plug my Twitch account. Go follow me. I stream whenever I can. I've got big stuff coming up. Game 19, I had a very long build fight with another player, but I didn't make it in the end. Game 20, once again, landed at the spire, got some shoes, and then hid my way to third place before turning this match into a 1v1. The other player was very good though. I made dumb plays and they won with 14 kills. I did not stand a chance. Game 21. I mopped up just a few kills, but my internet decided it wanted to bug out on me and left me in third place. Listen, I don't have anything funny for 22. Just know I went on a rampage and then stopped. I somehow forgot to record both games 23 and 24, so instead Dead, I'm going to pretend I did and just claim I won both because that is very reasonable. I did manage to record game 25 though, but I wish I hadn't. Game 26, didn't really have to fight anyone for a while, but I did get a kill by knocking down a build battle that wasn't quite evacuated in time. I then shot this player while they were trying to heal, and then I got lasered in the open while standing still. Don't do that. Game 27, I just played some Team Rumble. Basically, just needed a bit of a breather to, and to complete some leftover challenges, but I still landed Wailing Woods. Don't worry. 
In fact, the circle was right next to it. It brought us luck, because we won. Game 28 was going well, until it wasn't. Game 29, I decided to try and flex my loadout using a legendary skin with another legendary skin backbling. However, another player could hear how much money I've spent on the game, and, uh, killed me. Probably deserved that. Game 30, I land at the bridge nearby wailing. That's not... No, this is weeping. Hmm. Well, uh, I landed at the bridge between weeping and bony burbs, and I got a kill. I just wasn't good enough to stop the floor from below from being shot and falling through, though. Game 31 went about as good as most of the others. Got two kills, then died in 7th place. Game 32, got another two early kills. Not enough time to run away from this fight, but the other player found me before I could flee. Game 33, I finally reached tier 100, so I was wearing one of the best tier 100 skins. Fight me. Someone took that offer though. Lost in 26th place. Game 34, guess what happened? Yup, two early kills, died in the end game. Game 35, I got five kills with some of the best loot at the time. Oh, okay. Game 36, I just want to get over with. Game 37, I'm just running out of ways to say I lost by now. Trust me, I get better. It gets much better. But these first games are super rocky. Game 38, got two kills early on and then died much later. This isn't a bit. I'm genuinely shocked at how often this happens. Game 39 was so dumb. I edited the stairs so the explosives would kill me. I'm just stupid. Game 40. I decided to land at that little house the gnomes and bears fought in. Uh, don't do that. You will die. That, I hit my death. Game 41. I landed at the chicken place as a chicken so I could hire my brother. Uh, he wasn't much help though. I died at the spire. Game 42, their pump shotgun was just stronger than mine. Nothing about it. Game 43, I'm just... Uh, ugh, ugh, I don't know what's happening. I don't know why I'm playing so bad. Thankfully, it turns around soon, but... Yeah. Game 44, I could hear this player under the stairs healing. That would be an easy kill, but... Game 45, no supplier, too late. Game 46 went much better, actually. I got a kill before dying. Yeah... Game 47. I got a few easy kills and surprised this player. That kill made it 5. Made my way into the final circle, using my materials and shockwave bow to stay above the other players and keep them in the storm. I killed this carbide to turn this game into a 1v1. Finally, the other player in the match drops onto me. We both miss all of our shots, but she walks into the storm and I win the game. Trust me, we got more wins where that came from. Not in game 48 though, died in 6th place with 4 kills. Game 49 was a painful one. A 1v1 in the final circle. I hit the other player for 116 health, then attempted to spray her down. She shot me and lived with 20 health. That's 2 SMG bullets. Game 50, halfway mark. I played it with a friend, and because we are both very bad at the game, we died to people who are far better than us. Game 51 was nuts. It started off with this quick kill on the Galaxy Scout, but there was just so much happening. A ton of players and raptors quickly led to our demise. Game 52, something compelled me to play Arena. I don't know why, but it didn't go terrible. I defended my property from another player who probably didn't know I was there. I stole this shack of power from someone who uses another man's skin final circle was on the move as I turned this match into a 1v1. Would you believe me if I told you I won? Because I did! Oh, that was bad. I'm not redoing it though. And then game 53 is just shameful. I used the power of several guns and good aim to get two kills, but it's always good to remember that someone out there has better aim than you do. Game 55, I hit them for 93 damage, and then they hit me for all of my health bar. Game 56, I was attacked by both a raptor and a player, but I was able to kill both of them. Made it all the way to Lazy Lake where I died. 
I honestly don't even know where they came from. The other person just like materialized behind me. And Game 57 was a boring game where I died to the first person I fought. Game 58, not much better. Game 59, land at the bridge between weeping and boning. I haven't really touched on it much, but it's a solid place to land. It can spawn up to four chests. It has a bunch of bones for crafting and the boat nearby to smash for pieces as well. Using the power of the bridge, I was able to amass six kills before dying a tragic death that will ripple through my family for generations. Game 60, land at the chicken place. I also died, but you know, chickens, more important. Game 61, got two early kills with this pretty cool bow shot. And I used another drill by ammo. Game 62, failed to fix my wall and died in fifth place with three kills. Nothing new. Alright, okay, so on average, I can seem to survive the early game pretty well, getting a few kills along the way, but anyone with a brain as in game sense can do that. My struggle comes when it's the end game and I have to fight people who are much better than I am. That doesn't happen in this game, I die in 56th place. But like here, game 64. You watch as I track the other player following their movements, I then decide to push them as they jump off their structure giving me high ground. They then break the stairs I'm standing on, so I hit them with a pump shot, nearly taking them out. I then completely whiff the next shot, letting them kill me. For game 65 though, I have an excuse. They had a shotgun, I had a bow. Game 66, I mean the same thing as 64. I basically sit there and wait for them to come at me. I have this really bad habit of becoming a sitting duck once I'm shot at and never really pushing at them. Sometimes I do, but I really end up tending to play more defensively than offensively. Game 67 doesn't exist, so I'll plug something else here. Follow at MissGhosty underscore on Twitter. She drew the awesome art in the thumbnail, and she draws a bunch of other really cool art. Go follow. Game 68 is a quick one as well. I did not hear this guy. Game 69, the one you all came here for. It's not good. I died to a default. Game 70, I just wanted to complete a quest and died for it. Game 71, I used this purple power and um, died. Game 72, I accidentally switched to my bow instead of my SMG and using a bow at close range hardly ever works. Game 73 went better though. Four kills in 14th place, and I died to someone who I wasn't even fighting. Game 74, don't want to talk about, so I won't. Game 75, I used probably the most forgotten Battle Pass skin. There's a reason people don't use them. Game 76, I don't even know what happened. It was just a blur of color and thought and yeah, lost, what'd you expect? Game 77, I was drinking from my water bottle while running out in the open. So this chicken was able to remove my spine from its designated place. Game 78, my newly crafted green pump shotgun didn't win against the old and trusty purple SMG. Game 79, I dropped in as the Master Chief. Let me tell you, I finished this fight in a body bag. Game 80, I danced on the roof for this shot in the opening. Other than that, and dying as I tried to escape in the open, nothing exciting happened. Game 81, I accidentally fell in front of another player and gave them a free kill. Enjoy the XP, man! Game 82, I died to an anime girl and I am ashamed. Game 83, I played with my dad. We wore matching Tron outfits, and I carried us with all of the kills. That includes the game winning kill. Game 84, my dad left to help my sister set up our new VR headset, and without his guidance, I lost. Game 85, and the rad dad is back and he carried us to a solid second place. Game 86, I wanted to show the funny stonk skin to my dad, but this player didn't get the memo and killed me before I could. I then watched in awe as he ran around the map, collecting everything he could. You know, third place ain't that bad. Game 87, I'm alone again. Even using my really cool skin that I definitely didn't grind for on the last day of the season, I definitely won! Game 88, I to Raptor in 7th place. Joy! Wow, crazy to think it's been 20 games since game 69, huh? 
Well, just like game 69, game 89 went pretty badly. And game 90 was just plain bad. Game 91, I used one of my favorite skins, Eco. I really like the design, and Nalo Bands on Twitter did a great job on it. Unfortunately, I didn't do a good job in this match. Game 92, I fought well, but, you know, didn't win. Game 93 was, guess. No, 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 just guess. Yeah, you're right. Got two kills, and then died. Game 94 was another Misty Meadows Island Circle, and as you can guess, the bump shotgun is powerful, and I lost to it. Game 95, only five more till we're done. But in my defense, when I died, it was like 10 p.m. when I recorded this game, and I was tired. Game 96, I just couldn't spray my way downtown. Alright, game 97, I'm doing pretty well. I'm just gonna shoot down this player's build so they fall into <laughs> Game 98 was going pretty well, and hey, he's leveled up. Only about 31 of those to go before I get the old Spire Assassin. Game 99, the penultimate game. Thankfully, just like every other match, I got two kills and died in fifth place. Game 100. We're finally here. I've been working on this video for about two months now, the time of writing the script's actually, at this point, been closer to five months. Which is actually the longest amount of time I've spent actively working on a video, aside from maybe the Pokemon Platinum Shinx run, I think. Let me double check. And what better way to end this video than a 1v1 in the final circle? How about shockwaving myself into the storm and then failing to get out? So, that's it. That's 100 games. Overall, I actually did better than I was expecting. I really wasn't thinking I'd get a single win, if I'm being honest. You also absolutely noticed a curve in my gameplay with how good I was getting. Once I hit about the 50s, I started to actually win games. I don't know if skill-based matchmaking was just being nice to me, but I did win an arena match, so I'll take it. As always, links are in the description to everyone I played with, as well as my Twitch channel and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.